this is such an honor. I'm frankly a little bit stunned. I'm going to do my best to be semi-articulate. It is an honor to have been recognized among four international novelists, all of whom are heroes of literature. It's an honor to be recognized in terms of the legacy of Gregor von Rezzori, an enduring hero of literature, a writer I not only admire, but, but, but have stolen from occasionally. I'm the first to admit it. Uh, I've lear I learned so much from Gregor's ability to combine gravitas with humor. His was a unique voice and vision in world literature. It's remarkable to receive this recognition through the Fondación Santa Madalena, where I have been sheltered and urged on to create for, oh, maybe 20 years. Uh, Beatrice von Rezzori has done a remarkable job of continuing Gregor's, I'm not going to say memory, Gregor's life, because Gregor is still there at Santa Maddalena. The mole some molecules of his genius are still afloat in the air there. I know of no other place like it. It is pure magic and fun and stimulating. The first time I went, I was shown to my room and just opened my laptop and started writing, which is not the kind of writer I, I am. I'm much more you know, delicate and prone, to, and, and, and prone to fainting spells, but I just got there and it was like I, I just walked into an atmosphere of literature itself. Beatrice has been a great friend and an inspiration for so many years. Uh, and I've lost track of the number of books that I worked on there, up to and including a science fiction novel called Specimen Days, in which I was able to base an a sort of very intelligent alien figure on a lizard that kept that, that kept visiting my the 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 the, um, the windowsill where I where I was writing. So I, I I don't suppose I need to thank the lizard, but but I but I but I do want to thank Beatrice and Gregor and everyone who manifested that lizard and put me there in order to feel the life of this very non-human being. <clears throat> My novel, Day, is, it was a difficult novel to write because it deals with the pandemic. I didn't know how to write a novel set in contemporary times that did not deal with the pandemic, and it was at Santa Maddalena after lockdown in my favorite room at the top of the tower when I sort of came up with an idea about how to approach it, how to write a novel about human beings. Novels are by definition about human beings living through or maybe not living through the pandemic without 
taking the focus away from the people and focusing on the virus. And the book that resulted, Day, is in fact a day in the lives of a body of characters, a funny family and their friends and, and just people, people like, like people like people. And the day is set in three parts. Morning is before the pandemic. Afternoon is at the height of the pandemic. And evening is sort of in, in the aftermath of the pandemic. And it really came to me in that room, in the, in the, in the tower. Um, The lizard wasn't there. I assume she was, she was on to other business, but the magic was there. The room was there. I was aware of the fact that other writers were in other rooms right nearby doing their own work. And really, Santa Maddalena for me is the center of something, the actual center of creative enterprise. I know there are more than, there's more than one such center, but for me, that's it. That is where everything emanates from. So I'm sure anyone can imagine how honored and as I mentioned, stunned I am to be seen like this in the light of everything Gregor and Beatrice von Rizzori and Santa Maddalena have given me. Thank you.